Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's hack episode is all about lipstick. Now I'm sure all of us have suffered from dry lips at one stage or another and to treat that all you need is a toothbrush, it can be an old one, doesn't have to be a new one, and some lip balm. What you're going to do first is apply the lip balm all over your lips and apply a good generous amount. Then you're going to go in with your toothbrush and use circular motions to exfoliate your lips. Do these for about one or two minutes. This is going to help get rid of any of the dead skin cells left on your lips and the lip balm is going to help moisturize your lips whilst you're doing this. Then all you do is wipe all that dead skin away and you're left with nice soft lips. This next hack is for all you guys who have used your favorite lipstick and you only have a little tiny bit left. What you're going to need is a spoon, a spatula to scoop your lipstick out and a contact lens case. You can also use any small container you have at home. Oh, and you'll also need a candle. First, I'm gonna use the spatula and scoop up all the lipstick inside and place it onto my teaspoon. You can see how much product is left in the case, so ladies, we do not wanna waste our favorite lipsticks. Then once it's all out, you're gonna actually place the teaspoon over the flame on the candle. This is gonna melt the lipstick down to a liquid formula and make it really easy for you to pour your lipstick into a container or your contact lens case. Once that's done, just leave it aside to cool down and set and it'll become hard again. And now you can still bring your lipstick everywhere and apply it with a brush. So you know when you apply your nude lipstick and you look at yourself in the mirror and it just doesn't look right? Well, it could be because your natural lip color underneath is affecting the color on top. So a good hack for that is you can apply concealer or foundation all over your lips just to knock out the natural color. Then once that's on, you can apply your nude lipstick on top. This is going to help keep the nude lipstick true to color. I do have another hack for nude lipstick and that's going to help you not look so dry and dead and chapped. And the trick is to apply lip gloss over it. It makes a world of difference, especially when you're wearing a nude color very close to your skin and it does wash you out. By adding a bit of gloss, it just adds a bit of life back into your lips. Next hack is gonna help you with lining your lips. First off, you wanna make sure you have a very sharp lip pencil. Then you're gonna stretch your lips out by smiling slightly. And the first thing I do is draw an X on my top lip starting from my cupid's bow. Then I'm gonna draw two lines straight down. That's gonna help me mark my bottom lip. So I just follow those two lines and just draw a dot on each side and then draw a line connecting the two dots. Then I'm gonna apply four more dots in the middle of the area that I haven't lined. That's just gonna help us to connect all the dots much easier. It's much easier to draw little lines than one long line straight across. This is great for you guys who don't have steady hands and like to work slowly. Then all you do is connect all the dots together. I know it looks weird now, but once you apply your lipstick, you're gonna have the perfect bold lip. So say you made a mistake and a little boo-boo whilst you're applying your lipstick. Don't worry because we can clean that up. I'm just gonna grab a bit of concealer. Then I'm gonna use a flat definer brush. This one is from Sigma. And I'm just gonna grab a bit of concealer and just underline and cover where I made the boo-boo. You can even do this trick all around your lip to really define your lip and make it really sharp and nice. Don't forget to blend out the concealer. You can use the brush or your fingers to do this. And voila, you have a perfect bold lip. Once you've nailed your perfect lip color, you obviously want it to last as long as possible. And a good hack for that is you can set it with some translucent powder. Yep, apply some powder to your lips. So obviously you're going to need some translucent powder and you're going to need a tissue but just remove the two layers and we're only going to use one. Place the tissue over your lips and then with a big fluffy brush grab some translucent powder and just pat that onto your lips. Make sure you breathe out when doing this step because you don't want to breathe in the translucent powder. Any of the powder that seeps through the tissue will help set your lip color. The next hack I have for you is going to make your life so much easier when you want to do a gradient lip. Say you've got your lip color on already, all you need to do is find a lip pencil lighter than that color and then just apply that color into the center of your lips top and bottom. Then you're going to press your lips together just to smooth it all out and voila you have a gradient lip. 
If you want your lips darker on the outside, you can actually use eyeshadow. Here I'm using Semi Sweet Eyeshadow from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. And with a small brush, I'm just gonna apply that along the edges of my lip. This is actually gonna help prevent my lip color from bleeding and also create that nice gradient effect, making the edges darker. Once it's done, it'll look something like this. Now that's it to this hack episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please remember to suggest other topics you want me to cover. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to stay updated with future hack episodes I upload. And yeah, I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.